good teams but could never quite go all the way. Yet some of the game's greatest players of all time turned out for St Kilda. None was more famous than the legendary Dave McNamara, the longest kick of a football ever. Seen here leading out the Saints against Collingwood in 1923 and tossing the coin. The Saints always had their share of stars. Here, Bill Cubbins, Cyril Gambetta, the 1925 Brownlow medalist Colin Watson and Horry Mason lead the team out. St Kilda had a barren era after the 1913 Grand Final, making the finals just once between the wars in 1929. In that year, St Kilda played the giant Tiny Mills. At six foot eight, he was the tallest player in league football at this time. Ivor Warren Smith of Melbourne won the toss against St Kilda's Bill Cubbins. Famous full forward Billy Moore in his first season can be seen in this goal square action. He's wearing number 10. Thanks to an amateur cameraman, we can see some of the stars of that team. Barney Carr, Bill Cubbins, Horry Mason. 1929, the St Kilda team before a game. The Saints always had a big following, especially when they had a sniff of success. Under the coaching of Ansel Clark, the Saints had a great side in 1939 and went within an ace of making the grand final. It took an 11-goal effort by Ron Todd in the preliminary final to put a halt to the run.